No, I think Hardy's cool as hell. Fifteen hundred. When I was in Miami, I hung out with him. He totally hooked me up. When he comes to LA, I will take good care of him. I like Hardy. I didn't like when he was fucking swinging an HOH key at my face for ninety days. Hey, we're out of diet spray. Protein shakes are more. We're out of diet spray, bro. There's no. Will, there. did you, I had a quarter of a protein water, shake water, laying out? Water? Did you accidentally eat it, or did you purposely eat it? Well, um, I think I saw protein eating it. Said that? Dude, you don't even know. We would get protein bars, and we he would cut them. No, I would cut them, and then he got to choose first. Cause like you know like the, I so, had to start worrying about protein content just to piss him off. Um, I was like, I mean, my third. Like we would get like ten bars. Protein boogie? No, we'd really. Get, <laughs> we'd get ten bars, and there'd be three of us who wanted them. Hardy would be like, "All right, dude, you cut it. You choose the first piece. You choose the second piece, so that no one got like an uneven bigger piece of a protein bar." We got lettuce and cheese all this stuff or no? Where's the tortillas? Stop! I burned this. Well, Janelle burned her piece. No. How do we eat this one? It's gross. Hold on. He'll eat it. Take the chicken off. Oh, it looks like the slop George that thing. makes them anyways. <laughs> All right, we got some serious watermelon to kill. And he loves that. Howie, get to work, bro. Hey, um, do we have lettuce? Yeah, there's some in there. If not, Belsen, Maybe, go ahead. Maybe let's take another one. There. If you don't want some, it's fine. Howie, eat that. I don't need, I'm not cooking. I'm just gonna wrap. I'm gonna make a wrap. You don't want a quesadilla? No. Just nice. the black I'll make another right? one. Uh, Howie, awesome. just imagine it's Cajun style. <laughs> Say hello to Nicole for me. Say hey to Nicole for me. This turned way too high. PV baby, payback. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you could handle a southern girl. Oh, yeah. So much bigger than Boogie. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah, Howie. Oh. oh, I watch you on the internet. I watch you live. I watch you jerk off under the sheets. Oh, I love it when you give me hand jives. Oh, fuck my team, baby. Boogie, you've been with more girls than anyone in Big Brother history. Mike Boogie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know what? Nothing wrong with a showman's. How many? <laughs> Just don't let it turn into a. He's been Kia, Krista, don't confuse Autumn. with showman's, and please don't confuse showman's with homans. Erica. Um. Howie, shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Janie, dude, Boogie is a fucking Bush Big Brother Bush master. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like a beast! Cray Shake, it's really fabulous when you can be like that. I just want my Wachowski Crystal T Mobile sidekick and. If I call that a whiplash, well, Buggy. So many people that I'm going to the Ocean Drive party, but I'm so over it. I'm like, whatever, but I'll go anyways. It's free martinis, fabulous! Cray Shake. <laughs> Hi, Bobo. I we have to go to the VMA gift Holly, suite. what the fuck are you doing? They have a suite set up. Screw you, James! With Holly, giveaways, and we're Paper totally in Janelle. Let's hey, go. Hey, Boogie, tell these guys when we went to Motorola after the show. <laughs> nah. How do you like it? No? Yeah, I want to hear it, Boogie. Nah, better not, because we might not get to go again. <laughs> fuck him. Oh, yeah? All right. Fuck who? Not, no, don't say it, dude. Say I, want it, say the, it. I want the hookup. So Motorola has this office in LA that basically just gives celebrities free shit. So because they want it, they want celebrities to be seen with their products. So right after Big Brother to we went like there. And and Janelle, listen to this, please. Oh, listen. Okay, listen. Come listen. It's like this this gay guy, and he's like, I don't even know what the fuck we were talking about. We were there like an hour, and they didn't really say whether we were getting stuff or. Whatever. He's like, yeah, the Kid Rock was here with Pamela Anderson, and they wanted like twenty phones, and I was like, no way, Kid Rock. <laughs> Look at that, like, what the guy we... just loved to tell stories, like name dropping and stuff. So we're like humoring him. So then we sit down and he's like, so what do you think you guys need? And we're like... Well, we got to the point where we realized we weren't getting anything. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he was like, what do you want? Uh -huh. So we're like, oh, well, I mean, we have to um, talk a lot. So I guess clones. And then he's like, well, okay, well, here's the newest thing, whatever, whatever. So he handed it to us. We were like, cool. And this is five like, years ago when like cell phones were like just coming out, like big time, you know? When you had victory phones for me and my brother? Yeah. I guess so we then, told then he's like, he's like, well. Oh, know. and we, we need extra batteries. He's like, yeah. okay. Yeah, we need the car chargers. And then he's, they had these two ways at the time. You got any carrying cases for your hair? Sidekick. <laughs> before is when they had Motorola Time Port with the big case. And we were like, well, there's a lot of times when 
Will and I, because we're writing scripts together and stuff, we just need to send each other emails on the fly. And he goes, oh, do you know what I'm doing?